All right, Coach, start off with your overall thoughts on today's game. Well, I just am really proud of our girls for bouncing back after uh, the Air Force game. You know, we just we really weren't playing in sync and with each other. And um, I thought today we, or even the prep, we just really locked in. I think our kids were really disappointed, and um, even myself, just helping them to be the best they can be. Um, so we all regrouped, regathered, prepared, maybe overprepared <laughs> in some ways. But um, just, I'm just so proud of how they played together today. Uh, let's go through that last possession. Um, obviously, Crystal had the ball, and I'm assuming she was looking for something open and kind of got crunched in there on the baseline. And then was it meant, meant for her to wait until the very last to see if she could get something? I told her that she could go right away so we could get an offensive rebound, but it wasn't necessarily bad if we just went and scored, you know, because it's, you know, or wait until the last possession or until the last second because with her, with the ball in her hand, she just understands where the seams are. So we just ran a pick and roll for her and to go and drive the baseline. And then we have Mick in the corner for the corner three if we needed it and she was hitting it so well. Um, and then they kind of closed that off because we had gone to it early off in the game. And she just kept her dribble, kept her composure, and then they collapsed on her and she found Allie. So I think for me, you know, as a coach, you want to give your, your, your players a, a chance to make plays. And I think that's exactly what she did today. Jenny, I guess I, I, maybe it's me, but I'm looking for m more fluidity from your offense. And maybe some of that is the fact that SMU Seems like they played more of a deliberate defense. Uh, you know, without your leader, in a sense, does it change exactly what you're doing offensively? You know, um, yeah, we did have to make some adjustments without Slow Savvy. Yeah, I mean, and I thought they were going to come out and pressure us, to be honest with you. Um, and they didn't. And I think that actually played a little bit more in our favor. And yeah, when you lose someone like Savvy, it's going to kind of shake up the offense. I think we're still learning each other, too. You know, it's not just beautiful basketball yet. But one thing we're doing great is we're defending and rebounding. And that's kind of something you can always hang your hat on. And I'm hoping that our offense is really fluid come December, January, February, March, right? We're trying to work towards March. And so if it's looking good then, then I'm going to be really happy. You've got a pretty good gap here between now and your next game. Is that uh, obviously so, I mean, they got you have finals this week, no? Mm -hmm. So to give them a little bit of a breather during a week when they've got a focus a little more on something else. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to get some time off, get, some, get them off our, their legs a little bit. Um, when we go, we'll just go hard and short um, and definitely work on our offense. That will be something that we continue to do. And hopefully we'll have Savvy back here pretty soon and we'll be good to go. Is she a day-by-day -day thing? Yes. And it's kind of a concussion protocol? I can't comment on that one. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs>